Welcome back everyone to another session by K21 Academy and in this video our experts trainer will be discussing about AWS disaster recovery that is building a resilient architecture. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. So now let's understand about the con concepts of disaster recovery. Disaster recovery is basically preparing you for and recovering from the disaster. So if the disaster occurs, what much time will you take to recover from it? That is recovery time objective and recovery point objective is the acceptable amount of data loss measured in time. Now you cannot decide this. Huh? It basically is decided by the customer because the customer knows what amount of data is generated in 5 minutes for him. And what is the cost of that data? Like suppose say a customer is there for him in 5 minutes. There is 20 MB of data which is getting generated. Another client is there for whom in 5 minutes there will be 200 MB of data which will be generated. Another client has got 2000 MB data getting generated in 5 minutes. So you cannot keep the RTO or RPO same for all of them. The lesser RTOs and RPOs you want, more stronger resiliency and recovery procedures are required to be taken up by you. The company takes the decision, what is the accepted recovery time objective and recovery point objective based on the financial impact that will be created on the company during that time. So you cannot take a call as a solution architect. It will be the task of the customer that they need to tell you. But based on that, you need to plan your infrastructure. You need to plan your backup and restore policy. You need to plan your disaster recovery model, whether it will be a pilot light, warm standby, which kind of model are you planning for disaster recovery? Or it will be a cold standby. There are three models of DR. Pilot light, warm standby and cold standby. Do you want to have a multi-site deployment? Do you want to have a DR site or not? All these calls are to be taken based on the recovery time and recovery point objectives given to you by customer. Two uh, measures, the measures that you can take to improve your DR plan, the first and the foremost measure that you can take is testing. Okay. Always create a procedure where if you have created a DR plan or a backup plan, test it quarterly. Usually, the quarterly DR activities are performed where intentionally the primary site is bought down and the traffic is diverted to the DR site. It is checked what is the performance and the experience of the user when they moved from the primary to DR. How much fail over time they did took whether the users were able to work or not. If they are able to work, then it is fine. If not, immediately the my DR activity will be cancelled and the traffic will be forwarded back to the primary site and the identified issues on DR will be rectified so that on the day, when the actual primary sound goes down, at that time you should not face problem. So that is the first measure that one should take so as to plan the DR in a right way. There should be proper monitoring and alerting if there are any backups going on and they get failed due to any reason. You should get um, alert for that mechanisms for alerting. If there is a DR getting raised, then also the network team should be alerted 
that the dr has been activated be on you know uh, you can say the hooter is on the army has to take the position although the things has been taken care by the forward troop but then in the background you also have to be available like that monitoring and alerting should be there regular backup should be taken and they should also be monitored and this fail over and fall back should happen automatically in case of dr situation so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs job opportunities along with docker and kubernetes in aws and amazing amazing stuff so if you want to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat and after that you'll be seeing this kind of page you just have to save this link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning